Who's ready to fly? Yeah! Hey, welcome to Me Stars and Full Fires Elite. I got uh, senior Danny here. And uh, this is part two of his Recon 2 video. Um, this is his Recon project. And um, it's coming along very, very nice. Very nice. Um, so the first video that you saw uh, a couple months back, right before Christmas. Yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, was um, the car. And you had to figure out the car and the FPV system on it and stuff, and you're driving around the high share. And that was a lot of fun. Um, but then once you had the car figured out, then it was time to build the quad around the car. Right, right. So tell us about dimensions, tell us about what you made this material out of, about the body, all that stuff. So, so the initial quad, the, uh, the chassis that it's built out of is um, aluminum, three quarter inch uh, square tubing. Um, on that, we obviously mounted our motors. Uh, but below that, we've got this uh, laser cut wood, wood box, I guess essentially, yeah. that holds all of our electronics on the inside. <laughs> and then all of weight right now? Um, so as it sits, as the quad sits as it is, we're at about six to six and a half pounds. Okay, and then you've got your, without, that's not even including FPV gear yet on. No, not with FPV gear. And then you've got your car, which will sit um, on all of this here. We'll sit right underneath about right here and how much do you think that's going to weigh with the car i mean how much does the car weigh? Uh, so right the car now? right now weighs about four pounds so all together we're looking at about 10 so 10 pounds so the idea is that um you fly this thing in a remote area where you can't get to or not as of yet so you don't have to waste the human going over there right um drop it down it can then drive away and the way you're going to set this up on that is going to be pretty cool. I can't wait for that. Yeah. So he's going to try to use gravity in his favor uh, to help with the uh, keeping this bad boy on there without having to add too much more electronics for a door. Trying try to keep it the weight as minimal as possible. Right. On that part. Now let's go into the, the specs for the motors and the ESCs and the control board because I'm sure they're going to want to know okay. what you're flying with, how much thrust and all that. See, we're running T Motor MT2826 6, the uh, 760 or 7, yeah, 760 kV. Um, those are being powered by uh, air 40 amp ESCs that are made specifically for these motors. Um, and controlling all that, we're using the NASA M Light system. Nice. And you're going to have GPS and all that on Yeah, it comes with the GPS and everything. Sweet. Um, and we'll have some, some close ups on that shot. Um, and then um, the props, dude, these things are massive. Yeah. How big are they? Um, so we got some 14 by five and a half inch props wow. by uh, APC. So pounds of thrust, how, many, how much can one of these things lift? Um, I think we calculated that each motor should be able to lift about four to five pounds. So four to five pounds, 16 to 20 inch pounds. Right. It's 10 pounds and 12 ish pounds. <laughs> Should be fine. In, in theory, it should work. All right. Um, and so today, you are going to show the viewers um, not only your build, but do some test flights, right? Yep. So we're not going to attach this yet. We want to make sure that this thing can fly first. And so um, talk about your process and getting this nozzle board ready, too. Um, so it, it started with you know getting everything plugged in. Um, from there, it went to um, calibrating all the motors and making sure everything's turning the right way and that sort of thing. After that, you have to you know, get into the computer software and plug it in and uh, set everything, all your parameters on there. Um, and you have just stock. Yeah, it, it's, in terms of the gains, it's stock right now. Um, a few of the things are adjusted in order to get it to fly, obviously, but uh, awesome. the gains still need to be played with a little bit. Cool. And so you, now you're, you're to the point now where you're like, I'm here, and you're like, there. So I'm not going to be able to help you out if this thing isn't you know, operate right. You're going to be able to know exactly what to do with that board if this thing is not flying how you want to fly. For the most part, the, the software is pretty user friendly to use. Um, it, it's pretty simple, so I think we should go get through that. Awesome. Very cool. All right, were well, you ready to go test this thing? Oh, dude, you didn't even tell about the battery. Look at the size okay. of the battery. So, how big is the battery? So, we've got four cell, uh, what is it? Five? Five? Five thousand milliamp four cell on there with a nice little 25, 20 to 30 C discharge in there. So it's nice and, nice and calm. Wow. All right, let's go test this double. All right, let's do it. Okay.
to turn the GoPro on. All right, man, that was pretty fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. So how did the uh, motors hold up in terms of turn temp and our ESCs? And uh, motors, temp-wise, are pretty cool. Um, easy enough to touch. Uh, ESCs, however, they did get a little hot. Nothing too bad for right now, but definitely want to keep an eye on it. Yeah. And we you flown it for we, that was probably what, five minutes. Yeah, we had about five minute flight out of it there. And it's warm today. It's about I think it's pushing 75, 80. Yeah, we're about 80. Um no, I I was lucky enough to for Danny to even let me fly a little bit and that was it was pretty awesome to fly something that big. Um, and I think we had a quadcopter in to show you the scale of this thing. Um, so here's like a regular quad lugs. Retail type. So this is this eats it. <laughs> eats it. Um, but no, it flew amazing. You should be proud of yourself. That's a huge accomplishment to make something this big. Um, it's always scary to be messing around with uh, something that has that amount of money on it. Um, and we still don't even have everything. Yeah, ever. Everything still is in the so. This is going to look awesome <laughs> when this car is underneath that thing. It's, um, it's going to be something different. Very cool. So the next step is to do some testing of whether or not it can hold this and how long, right? Yeah, exactly. See what kind of weight it can hold, what kind of flight time you can get out of it. Correct. And then um, we'll probably do some scenarios around the school, um, probably in the back over there. And then Danny, uh, May 27th, is going to be able to present in front of some uh, uh, SWAT team members and some Northern Colorado Bomb Squad members. Yeah. And um, looking for their feedback and seeing you know whether or not this would be feasible for them. Um, and who knows? Maybe they'll want you to come and <laughs> fly a couple missions for them for the, over the summer or something. You never know. Um, but no, really, really cool. And you should be proud of yourself. And we're not even there yet. And yeah. that's what's going to be. That's what's exciting. I think what's going to be the most rewarding part is when you fly it and you did that simulation perfectly. Get it back. Yeah. <laughs> all um, in one piece. So all in one piece. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been a long way coming. It's it's taken a long time. Yeah, uh, but we're, well, we're on the senior, home right? Yeah. yeah, you got a life. Senior year, a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff to do, you know, and, and to, um, you know, you could easily just blown it off and, and finish your senior year and move on. Um, but you did, you kept with it. And that shows uh, a lot of pride and uh, respect for the program. Mm -hmm. And that's going to rub off on the guys coming up, you know, so that's, that's really good. Um, and then the, uh, you should tell them first because you're getting close to graduating. Where are you going? Yeah, so uh, as of next fall, I'll be going to uh, University of Colorado Boulder via Buffalo. Major in what? Major in aerospace engineering. Cool, now you come back and teach us. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully your project will be at a much bigger scale than this. Hopefully. So, yeah, that'd be really cool. Well, thanks, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for part three when um, Danny actually does some uh, simulated tests. And then the big one will be part, part four when you actually have the gentleman in gear watching you and seeing how this thing performs. So, very good. Thanks for watching.